week market market at the market open for february 7th 2018 Let's take a look at markets here let's recall that the market is trading here with the vix still trading in the higher 20s which means that the market is very sensitive very sensitive to smaller time frames so intraday direction is going to be determined on whether we can hold above this line or not as we have been seeing in the last couple of videos this was the break of the recent highs and back below and here we are again so either we hold above the the red line and we can move higher or we weave ourselves back below the line and we start seeing this market really pull back based on the value of the VIX and remember the VIX as we establish is more accurately described in my opinion as a measure of timing difficulty so the higher the VIX the more it is very difficult to time intraday swings So let's take a look at some of the other things we can consider short term knowing that the market is very sensitive to all these considerations as we know a high VIX means a high degree of difficulty pretty much it means everybody in other words the bears and the bulls are pretty much being smacked around by the market lots of timing mistakes are taking place because of the value of the VIX high volatility high difficulty but if you take a look at this line here this was the break of the highs there current all-time highs on the Nasdaq futures we come here and we show a rejection on the same line somewhere around that high right there and we tag this yesterday right there which is the top and double top here early in the morning and we are seeing as of this morning here we've been unable to move above the blue line let me show you something else if you take a look at the S&P 500 you'll see that there was a line here and after I talked about this line a couple of weeks ago this was the entry here short term we bounced on this line which was that hourly low before we bounce we did try to hold above the line here but we failed and once we failed we can see that the market did pull back significantly so I would argue that pretty much what we are doing here is we are coming back to test the break and so this area here resistance on this blue line around here Keep in mind this level so happens to be interestingly enough at about the 38.2 level if you take a look at the five minute chart actually I think this is more telling of what is going on and the reason why I think the five minute chart is more telling is because we have a very high VIX which means the smaller time frames are more controlling we broke down here off the intraday highs and since then the market's been coming back to this level and every time we see re rejection on this ensuing line our uniformity resistance line we know the market's been pulling back resistance here off the highs there we get a pullback triple top here off this highs there we get a massive pullback and now here we are testing the same level so I think if I was to refresh this chart you'll see that now it is pointing down on the five minute time frame looks like a triple top 
So obviously, as long as this is the case, you have to play this from the short side, understanding that you're going to get the possibility of a very big move. We're talking about, in my opinion and estimation, hundreds of points lower, as long as this is still showing resistance on this line. And of course, with the understanding that if we break out above this well-defined line, a breakout above this well-defined line could actually lead to a gain of hundreds of points because of the value of the volatility index. So that's my two cents, by the way. See what the markets are doing here. And one more final thought. As we come off the highs is if you take a look at this hourly chart for the Nasdaq seems to be top side resistance if you draw it like that you can see right now the challenge for the Nasdaq and I'm pretty much sure by extension the other major averages the Dow and the S&P is that the more we show resistance here on the hourly chart the more we are gonna have to contend with the movements to the downside so one is to be very careful trade small if you have to the best thing to do in in this type of market environment honestly if you can is stay out of it until things settle down otherwise we can continue watching the five minute window and see whether we move above this line if we can move above this line that's good short term for intraday bulls. If we continue seeing resistance on this line, that's good for intraday bears. And we can see also here that this red line, as I spoke before, happens to be at about the 61.8 level on the five minute chart here, the RSI setting at 26, just in case it looks a little bit different from yours. So as long as we continue seeing this re resistance here, we have to assume that net net the market would have to clear that line before it can go higher and as i always like to do let me end the video with a snapshot of what the market is doing eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i c s eric mother mother.com this is gonna be i guess video number four and it's gonna be the last video in this series and Pretty much the intent of this video is to show you the difficulty in trading markets on a small time frame when we are seeing the VIX trading above the mid-teens. So this is going to be video number four. Check the description of the video for the other videos that came before this one. So since this is number four, let's just go straight to the points. On the hourly here for the S&P 500, we continue seeing that it is still coming back to this level to ask a question of the market, given that this was the break. So the break here was a major break. We saw the Dow drop by 1,500 points, maybe even slightly more than that from here to the lows here so that was a material break and pretty much what we are doing is coming to test that level and already we are seeing potential signs of the market stalling here given that the VIX is elevated we know that can be a big sell signal if we take a look at the five minute chart which we had been looking at early in the morning you'll see that the line that we had drawn again for this to make sense make sure you've watched part one part two part three and part four but you'll notice here that even when the market was trading higher by about 360 points on the dow close to 400 at the end of the day we are still showing resistance and this line happens to be at the rsr level of 61.8 give or take we can even go back to our hourly chart from another look. This is a Tinko Swim platform. 
and we can see the line we had drawn in video part three here is actually now more accurate trying to tell us if we see rejection here that's going to be good for a pullback so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop the video and we can see here that as long as we are seeing resistance on the five minute chart that we can expect a pullback so i'm going to pause the video and I'll probably come back in a couple of hours might be into the next day to see what happened after the fact so we can use this as a learning example again this is going to be the last video in this series and the intent of this video one more time is to highlight how difficult it becomes when the market is trading with the VIX above the mid teens trading becomes very difficult any slight buy or sell signal is good for many hundred points given that the Dow is trading in the 25,000 and above price range. So a down 3% day, 2% day is going to be down maybe 4, 500, 600 points. All right, I'll pause the video there. I'll be back in hours or maybe a day or two to see what happens after the fact.
all right here we are continuing with the series here as I said I was gonna give you updates so that by the time you watch this we can see what happened after our analysis and this is pretty much for those who like to trade in the small time frame now this is next day February 8th 2018 we see the market opening lower the Dow has been as uh, low as 200 points lower over the last couple of minutes all right so we can see that what we were looking at in terms of short term the market did respond to it we can see even here another resistance on the hourly for the nasdaq futures and we can also see that where we had seen uniformity rejection here gave us the highs there when the market was up 300 before the market closed lower for the day yesterday so it gave back all the gains from up 360 points on the Dow to negative I think 20 at the close so we're talking about a 400 point swing from the highs there which is this reversal and let's not forget that on the five minute this is what it looked like there was a myriad of attempts to break out here and the market refused to let this be a breakout in terms of this area ultimately this band of resistance is what has led to the pullback I took a while intraday but finally the market did respond to that if we take a look at the hourly we can see that the line we were drawing as potential resistance was respected by the market off the highs there so for intraday trading scalping that was the signal you, you needed to see here in taking a short trade there All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here. I think it's been a good journey in trying to understand how to trade markets when the volatility index is very high. As we've established, the market was very volatile all over the place because of that high VIX, which is pretty much, again, trying to enforce the idea that markets do respond to the VIX in terms of the VIX telling us that it is a measure of difficulty for intraday traders so I want to conclude this of course after the series of resistance levels on the small time frame yes we got the intraday pullback but I'm gonna conclude this by taking a look now and keep in mind that we still have a high VIX which is trading at 26 and anything above the mid teens tends to suggest a difficult intraday environment right uh, you can make timing mistakes very easily because of the nature of the market so I'm gonna end the video here we've seen the pullback um, great experience for all of us just wanna end here with one thought and this is the five minute chart and just one last time and hope you don't get tired of this the pullback comes from this resistance band on the five minute also as confirmed with the other hourly time frames we looked at all right so we got the pullback now given where the market is trading in terms of the VIX I'm gonna draw a line right here and what this line gives me is this movement which came off the lows there the market came back to test the underside of this line here which stopped that slide 
and we get a reaction or move to the upside. And now, as the market is dropping, it is holding this line here. So, given that we're in a very sensitive market where things are moving based on small time frames, I can see here, and by the time you watch this video, you have the luxury of going back to the charts, but I can see here, if the market holds this line, then around here, we can expect the market to start coiling higher. And at the same time, if we drop below this line, then that's going to continue the recent slide. So I want to end the video there. It was a pleasure. It is a pleasure. This is Eric Mwadith, Mwadith com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. Mwah. There you have it people. Now recall, this move has been aggressive, but we should not be surprised. Why? As I said, whenever the VIX is trading above the mid-teens, the market is very difficult to time. And if you get it wrong, you're going to be on the wrong side of a big move. Also just recall throughout this series we started talking about the possibility of resistance and reversal when we saw this happening and again here in fact if I zoom in resistance here back below this declining resistance line resistance right there when the VIX is very high means it's a major concern if you're long if you're looking for an opportunity then that's where you want to take a short position pretty much since the resistance here as we saw yesterday, the market's down, I would say, about 1,400 points, give or take, in a couple of hours, trading hours. This move that has seen the market shade 1,000 points for the day is because we closed with the RSI dropping below, you guessed it, RSI level of 30.9. That's why we saw that washout into the close. Also, you might recall we were watching this level here. Given that this gave us the break 
of those highs we came and tagged it here which was the highs right there and I should say that I believe this is the high from yesterday right here so from here to here is what should be about maybe something in that range could be less could be more from here to the lows of the day at the close as you've just seen so as we see the close here being confirmed market settling down the lesson and the moral for this video I hope has been helpful when trading markets where the VIX is elevated it is a very tough market to trade because the smaller time frames are controlling and you have to be very sensitive to those signals whenever you see them on the small time frame and also keep in mind that right now the VIX is trading above 69.1 on the monthly which puts more pressure to the downside net net the takeaway is inescapable a strong VIX means a high degree of difficulty when you are trading for small time moves or intraday because if you don't pay attention to some technical parameter that small time frame parameter might ignite an absolutely powerful move and given where the market is trading for example the Dow is trading in the mid 2000s or 20,000s you know a 4% day which frankly is nothing a 4% down day is good for hundreds of points which means if the market rally is 3-4% you get the same type of hundreds of points to the upside so it's not the kind of market you want to play with if you don't have the experience and it needs constant study anyway let me stop right there I hope you found this video of some value if so that's great Eric Mwadith, Mwadith .com. as always good luck peace and blessings and let me end here with a snapshot of the time and this is it E I C S and so it is Mwah. love you